Oh hey there, welcome to Internet Comment Etiquette. I'm Eric, your host, and this is the only show where I teach you how to leave proper and respectful comments just all over the internet. I'm feeling great today. How are you feeling, robot? Call the police. All right, well, in this lesson, we're going to focus on news websites. And, uh, oh, I just got word that there's a developing story online. Let's go check it out. Oh, okay, it's a scary little video of a shark getting kind of close to a boat. Real newsworthy stuff, which explains the gaggle of journalists who somehow think that leaving a YouTube comment is the best way to get in touch with the owner of a video. All right, my turn. Hey, I'm a journalist with Balls of Steel Monthly. Can we paraphrase this video in the middle of an unrelated article and post? Good stuff. I wonder if that's going to get any responses. Didn't expect to see Daddy. Hey, Don't my baby seven. shark's dick to this for hours. Oh, a cheers. <laughs> Now one news site you're not going to see in this lesson is Yahoo News because I already closed the book on that one back when I was beautiful and healthy. So we don't need to go back there. First things first, I want to let you guys know there's going to be no politics in this lesson. We're going straight news stories only. We're not going to handle any politics. This is a politics-free lesson. All right, let's start things off with the Washington Post. I'm just going to pick a story at random. I'm going to close my eyes and choose. Clinton falls ill during 9-11 Memorial Day. Oh, shit. Nope, that's not going to work. That's... Way too much politics in there. All right, well, I'm going to stop closing my eyes. I, I think that was a bad idea. Let's just pick one manually here. There we go. ITT Technical Institute shut down after 50 years in operation. Oh, nice. There's a video. That means I don't have to read the article. And plot on that. Man, what's with this music? I feel like I'm watching a David Fincher movie. Now let's scroll right through all this bullshit and straight to the comments section. I'm sure this news article video has stoked some interesting and thought-provoking should have put Clinton on the board. Well, that went straight to politics. Come on, maybe this next one will... May ITT and all of its employees burn in hell. Looks like the etiquette train got a little derailed there, but thankfully I'm here to drop in and leave some proper internet comment etiquette, so let's take a look at what that would look like. I got a diploma from ITT Tech, and I don't even know how to use my own dick, let alone anything that has to do with technology. I keep trying to turn my dick on, but it's like broken or something. I got a job now designing batteries for Samsung phones, and I don't know how that happened. All I'm trying to do is invent a machine that wakes my dick up. I tried reading books and internet posts about it, but like, maybe I'm stupid or something. So no worries. Even if you're too stupid to figure out how your dick works, you can still get a diploma from ITT Tech and get paid to invent machines that burn people alive in their cars. I didn't read the article. Bye, and post! There you go, try to turn that into politics. Let's look at one more article from the Washington Post before we move on, and nope, up. Uh, used up all my articles for the month. Well, I've never paid for my news, and I'm not about to start. So next news website is CNN. CNN has a news website that seems to mostly be associated with political discourse, but they cover all kinds of news. Just check this out. Dolphins may have a spoken language? Interesting. Well, let's see what people are saying about this article that I'm not going to read when I just skip all the way through it. Down to the comment section. Wait a second, where is it? Where's the comment section? Is it here? Nope, that just shares it to Reddit. Nope. Now all these articles don't have comments either. All right, well, CNN News has no comment section that I can find, which is why CNN News, you get the biggest pussy in news award, courtesy of Internet Comment Etiquette. Guess I'll just have to leave my comment meant for this article on the next article, which is going to just fuck everything up. Let's take a look at what that was going to be. Oh, uh, Fox News browsers got hacked. Yeah, sure, whatever. Let's leave this dolphin comment. Hey, Dolphin Dave here. I'm a dolphin. I love eating fish in the ocean, napping with my belly up towards the sun, and watching my family members get systematically murdered by machete-wielding Japanese people. I've got a dolphin wife and two little dolphin babies, and we spend all day hanging out, playing in the waves, and receiving lethal doses of radiation because Japanese people keep dumping nuclear waste on top of us. We don't let tragedy get us down, though, because if you could describe life as a dolphin and one word, it would be freedom. Unless, of course, you're like my cousin Dolphin Jim, who got snagged in a fishing net and then beaten to death so his bones could be turned into pills that makes the guy who invented the PlayStation's dick hard. But hey, it could be worse. At least we're not getting shot by cops for being black. Dolphin Dave over and out. I didn't read this article. And... Well, that's how you post a comment on Fox News. Now, this next news program is a little bit different. Uh, it's called SourceFed, and it's more of like news mixed with entertainment and pop culture. Uh, it's got a very conversational vibe with these two hosts just kind of riffing off of the day's well, stories. There's been a buzz ever since Hillary Clinton partially collapsed yesterday. Ah, Sources shit. Say she felt I didn't even realize what they were... Why is it so hard to get away from politics right now? So, yeah, it's been proven time and again with programs like The Daily Show and The Colbert Report, even that cuck John Oliver, that people don't just want the news. They want someone to make the news cute for them. And that's a strategy that's paying off here with SourceFed as well. As you can see, they got 2 million subscribers. 
And something like that does require throwing objectivity out the window. For instance, uh, you start to make boasts about perhaps knowing what the best method of wiping your ass is. Do you really think the best method of ass wiping is, is in this video? Or do you think that's just a misleading headline? I don't know, let's find out. At least it's better than fucking politics. And play! Hey everybody, and welcome back to SourceFed. What a glorious day. Go ahead and look- I wet till there is blood. I got to keep my b-hole clean. Tyler begins by highlighting some of the problematic techniques that many of us, whether we know it or not, have been using for years, i.e. standing while wiping. Standing? Wouldn't that close your butt cheek? Why, yes, Ava. Who the fuck stands and wipes? I do, so fuck off! Ladies and gentlemen, perhaps the most effective method of sh removal is a combination of the lean and tilt, all right? Some entitled white people trying to tell me how to wipe my own ass, shake my head. Use water, disgusting cunts. I let my dog lick it clean. I have a badia. All right, here's my comment for SourceFed. Jay owed in my car to this video. The family in the SUV next to me was freaking out calling the police, but we were in traffic, so the cops couldn't get to me. I didn't even realize I was in trouble until I got pulled over by my ex-boyfriend and we banged out on the divider in the middle of the highway till he got fired from the force and I got a divorce letter from my wife. Hey, oh, count it, didn't read the article. Rocket ship with lasers and post. Diving deeper now into YouTube news, let's take a look at the Young Turks which is what it looks like when a CNN op-ed section comes to life and starts its own YouTube channel. But unlike CNN, these guys aren't complete pussies and left their comment section open so we can inspect some good and prop- Whoa! I don't even know if that has anything to do with the video. I haven't even hit ply yet. I just hope nobody makes this political. Here in the United States, we love to brag about being number one. Except when it comes to education, that is, where we regularly rank around 37th in the world. I like Finland. They have the nicest people on Earth. It's just Finland hate Muslim people. That's not politics. But you know what country does consistently rate among the best in the world in education? Finland, apparently. That's right. Thanks a lot, now all these refugees come here. Not only does Finland have the highest high school graduation rate in Europe, but on international tests, Finnish students regularly rank near the top in reading, math, and science. This isn't politics, right? Finland's a shithole socialist wasteland. Sorry, but you're wrong. That shithole socialist wasteland is Swedish. Okay, well that's political. The system takes into account human apes. And that's racist. Oh, this just in, there's about to be a comment. Fuck you, I graduated ITT tech cum loud and I'm smarter than that pussy fucking city fennel. Suck my dick, you cheese eating elk fuckers. Bet you wish you had ITT tech over there, maybe you'd get a job like me designing leg braces for Hillary Clinton so she doesn't fucking faint all over the goddamn place. To be honest, they should have hired a DeVry graduate. I was too busy fucking to pay attention, now I'm making this lady collapse every other day because I don't understand how mysterious diseases work. Vote Romney and post! Well, you know, you can say what you want about printed news article comments, but... These YouTube comments that I see are, are just always so much more racist and so much more xenophobic and, and horrible. Like, what is this? What? Who writes that? You would never see a comment like that on a real news website. Oh, I spoke too soon. Whites have it worse, but blacks make a big deal about it. And of course it's on Yahoo News. Well, I guess we're going to leave a Yahoo News comment after all. Hey, you sound like the kind of guy who doesn't mind me talking about how much pussy I eat, so check it out. I eat more pussy than a coyote let loose in the suburbs. I eat pussy more than your wife thinks about throwing away her ring. I eat so much pussy that Leonardo DiCaprio is about to do a documentary about pussy disappearing across the globe at an alarming rate because I ate it all. I visited Japan back in the 80s and they invented Pac-Man after they saw me eating pussy up and down the street. Then I got some revealing emails from this pot of dolphins and I stopped visiting Japan after that. Long story short, I eat more pussy than the incinerator at a PETA kill shelter and your comment made my dicks softer than a white dude's prison sentence and peace so what news website are you let me know in the comment section below buddy but make sure it's in spanish and don't forget to subscribe here all right well it's down to the lesson now we can finally get into some politics at real donald trump are you banking on global warming so your lips will stop getting frozen to russian dick boom and tweet